And what up? It's time 18-22. It's official now. Sting will face Seth Rollins for the WWE Heavyweight Championship at WWE United Champions. Sting returned to WWE on Monday Night Raw. A lot of people mark out, I've marked out like crazy for the icon Sting. Now the question is, should Sting be WWE Champion? Now, I don't know. I don't really have an answer as of right now. But I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on Sting possibly up being a champion. If it happens, what can he do? Now, we all know Sting is a part-timer, you know. If Sting wins the title from Seth Rollins at Night Champion, we will not see him that often. We will not see Sting defend the belt a lot. Another thing is, would he take a chance of doing it? Monday Night Football returns next month. We all know when the NFL returns, Monday Night Raw rates go down. So though he'd be desperate to attempt giving Steam a title to see, can it keep some viewers from not switching over to Monday Night Football? You have a lot of fans say, Steam being a champion shows the W don't believe in the future of the company. Guys like Seth Rollins and others, they don't believe these guys are truly the future because they depend on a guy like Steam who is a part-timer who's out of his prime. So it's a lot of things people are going to talk about. Now, Steam being W champion, is it really needed for his legacy? I say no. Steam really never needed to be in W for his legacy to be complete. His legacy was already complete without WWE. So there's that. It would be cool to see Steam hold the WWE title to me. I'd love to see it. Now, if Steam was the WWE champion, how long he had the belt? A month or two, that's it. You know, will Seth Rollins defeat Steam to get the belt back? Oh my God, will Triple H defeat Steam to get it back? Oh, <laughs> another possibility? Triple H defeats Steam, get the belt back to Seth Rollins. Is that a possibility? Set the thing up right there. What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah. Sting just defeats Seth Rollins. Won't win the belt though. No DQ. Because you can't have Sting lose to Seth Rollins. He lost to Triple H WrestleMania 31. I don't want to see Seth Rollins defeat Sting. Sting cannot be 0-2 in his WWE career. I just can't see that happen right there. So so many things that have me wondered about this match at Night of Champions. Is there a possibility of Sting being a champion? Would W decide to go that route? You know, they might say, hmm, they keep the ratings from not going uh, not going down that much. I put the belt on Sting. Let's see what the reaction of fans will be. Let's see how the ratings will be during hand against Monday Night Football every Monday night. W is probably thinking about that right there. It's the reason why Sting returned to face Seth Rollins. Remember, rumor was that uh, Sting will return to team with uh, Ambrose and Roman Reigns against the Wyatts. That's not it. He returned on Raw to go against Seth Rollins. So, W is probably going with that route right there. Uh, we're going to need Sting on my net Raw. Night of Champions, what? In the middle of September. So, they just doing this because they know football's returning. They gotta make sure ratings don't go down a lot. You know, it's still gonna go down with Sting being on TV. It's still gonna go down. But they they, they want to at least be slightly down. They don't want to be like, you know, when they be like, hey, this is the lowest rating since 96 or something like that. You know, they've been having those moments when raw ratings been lowest since the early 90s. They don't want that again. So that's why I got a feeling that Sting being the W champion is a possibility. But, you know, it will be some people who don't like it. It will be people who do like it. You know, because a lot of people are like, man, the future really ain't bright. They call it NXT. You know, this is the future. If Sting won the championship, a lot of people are like, there ain't no damn future. Y'all just rely on old part-timers to carry the company. So, we'll see what Sting you know, be the WWE champion. It will be cool to see. It won't last long. He won't be a champion for three months. It will probably be for like, one show he retained, and then he loses like at uh, Survivor Series. 
you know, if they decide to give him like a two, two and a half month reign, you know, he can lose that hell in itself. It ain't gonna be a long time if Sting gets it, you know, but how many Raws will Sting do? Will Sting like pair on one Raw just to go home show? You know, what we gonna, what it gonna be like? You know, a lot of people have problem with Brock Lesnar being champion. A lot of people have problem with The Rock being champion. A lot of people have problem with Sting being champion. They'll say, why are your W champions not on television? Well, we all know why W do it, because they do it for ratings, you know. They put belts on God and Rock and Brock Lesnar just to break in ratings because they want people to keep watching. They do not want to trust guys like Seth Rollins. Even though Seth Rollins has been a champion for a long time, at the end of the day, when it comes to keeping the ratings up, they'd rather have Sting being champion as a part-timer than Seth Rollins being champion. So give me your thoughts on this. Should Sting be WWE champion? So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.